Everybody wants to get into the SEMA show, but unfortunately it's not open to the public. But Royal Purple really stepped up this year and held a contest called Show It Off at SEMA. And Joe Cherry, who I'm speaking with, entered the contest and won and uh, brought his car to the SEMA show. This, this show is outrageous. I could, I could die in this show. Uh, <laughs> this, it's, this is like a Motorhead's uh, uh, Disney World. Okay, that's how great it is. And what did you have to do to enter the car? I, all I had to do was take a picture of the car, uh, post it onto the Facebook at the SEMA site, uh, write them a, uh, you know, a description of the car, and uh, little things like that. And does the car run with Royal Purple in it? Of course it does. It runs pretty good. <laughs> this is a pretty amazing car. Can you tell me about it? Yes, it's a 58 uh, Chevy. It's a car that wasn't built, that should have been built. Uh, the first El Camino came out in 1959. Mm -hmm. This car was never produced. It's a one of a kind, the only one in the world. This car was built of uh, two cars, a 58 Nomad Wagon and a 58 Biscayne Sedan. Well, the uh, platform is a Nomad Station Wagon. And uh, what I did was I had the uh, Biscayne uh, grafted into the car because I needed the uh, long door effect to give it the proportion. Okay. Because when you build a car, naturally the, uh, the cabin has to be proportionate to the bed and the, and the front of the car. Okay. So, the roof line is the a Nomad Wagon, the sail plate is the Nomad Wagon, the lift gate is the Nomad Wagon, and the rear of the car is the Nomad Wagon. Okay. The Biscayne is the uh, door from the beginning of the door right on back to the center of the rear wheel well. This also had like a station wagon roof on it, so you've created this bedside to it as well. Correct, correct, yeah. Um, I wanted something different. I, don't, I, I just don't want to build the same thing everybody else is doing, so I had an opportunity to do something different. I figured in, uh, if they built a, an El Camino in 1958, it would be close to what this looks like, only not as modified. We had to uh, fabricate all the steel uh -huh. all along the top of the fender, this was the original top of the station wagon's tailgate. Oh, okay. So what we did was we cut the tailgate completely off, fabbed it into the rear here. Okay. We chopped, the whole cabin is chopped two inches all the way around, okay. including the frame of the uh, rear window. Inside this rear window here, along with the sail plates, there are I-beams that go down into the center of the car on both sides, and they, uh, and, um, torsion bars across the roof to hold the, the window up. Uh, basically there's uh, no mods in the front except for the, uh, the engine and the uh, accessories that I have under the hood. Uh, but basically it's a, a straight ahead forward car. The cabin was chopped two inches all around and that included the windshield being as it was a molded windshield, we cut the molded windshield two inches all around too. That was pretty hairy doing that. Joe, tell me about the suspension and uh, like the wheels and tires. Yeah, I have an air ride uh, computerized suspension under it. Uh, the wheels and tires, the wheels are uh, Boyd uh, Coddington Crown Jewels. Um, I really had a lot of respect for that man and I had to put those wheels on it. The tires are made by Cooper, mm -hmm. Cooper Zeons. And uh, how does it handle and drive? It handles wonderful. So Joe, it's opening day, but how do you feel about Rural Purple bringing you out here? I am so excited. Uh, my heart is pounding a million times a minute and uh, this is the best thing that uh, we could ever do, especially in Las Vegas.